Hello my people and welcome to my health channel. Today I'm going to talk about dengue fever. Dengue fever is one of the most dangerous and fast spreading mosquito borne viral diseases in the world. It is a viral illness that occurs in tropical and subtropical areas of the world like Africa, Asia, Caribbean, Indian, subcontinent and occurring totally in more than 120 countries. Dengue is the second most common identified cause of fever. It is due to infection with a virus called dengue virus. It's spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. The mosquito that causes dengue bite mm -hmm. during the day, usually in the morning or in the early evening before dusk. These mosquitoes can be recognized by the white stripes in their legs. These mosquitoes are found often near the built up areas such as wells, tanks and in old tires. Dengue isn't spread from person to person. Outbreaks of, outbreaks of dengue are common and most of the time occur in a seasonal pattern. Outbreaks imported from abroad have been reported in Southern Europe. Okay, It takes about 4 to 10 days after the mosquito bites to develop a symptom. Now I'm going to talk about the symptoms of dengue. High temperature or feeling hot or shivering. Look out for warning signs like intense headaches, especially if you are having gnawing or throbbing pains. Person may experience severe headache, pain behind the eyes, joints and muscle pain. Some have mild dengue fever, which can lead to high fever and flu-like symptoms. Okay, There may be a widespread of red rash, but I need to talk to you about the warning signs. Okay, Some have like abdominal pains or tenderness, Persistent vomiting, fluid accumul accumulation, liver enlargement. A rash may also develop. You might have a rapid increase in platelet count or white blood cells. It can damage the bone marrow. Let your doctor know if there is a sign of dehydration or you notice um, decreased urination. The symptoms normally pass um, after about one week, although you may feel tired and slightly unwell for several weeks afterwards. Now, how do you prevent dengue? There is no vaccine for preventing dengue, but you must prevent it by avoiding being bitten by mosquitoes. There are things that you can do to prevent being bitten. Well, if you use um, um, the mosquito repellents, are very good that you use them. If you wear loose but prote uh, protecting um, clothing, sometimes um, these mosquito mosquitoes can bite through tight fitting clothes. If you wear trousers and long sleeve shirts and socks and shoes, they are very good. Sandals cannot do much. Sleep under mosquito nets, ideally. And um, these nets will have been treated with insecticide. Be aware of your environment. The mosquitoes that spread dengue breed in still water in urban areas. Don't allow water to stagnate in your ne neighborhood. This advice cannot be complete without saying that you should keep yourself washed and clean at all times, especially if you're walking across waterlogged streets. It's important to know that people who have had dengue before are taught to be most at risk of severe dengue if they become infected again. Severe dengue certainly has signs that can include severe tummy pain, swollen tummy, being sick generally, vomiting blood, bleeding gums, bleeding under the skin, um, breathing difficulties of fast breathing, cold, clammy skin, weak but fast pulse, drowsiness or loss of consciousness, severe infections um, mainly affects the infants and children living in tropics and subtropics. Go to the hospital if you're, if you're having any signs or symptoms, okay? Go to your a, &A if you are abroad, okay? Now, a treatment for dengue, there's no cure. A specific treatment for dengue. You can only relieve the symptoms on, um, until the infection is gone. You can take paracetamol to relieve pain or fever. Don't take aspirin or ibuprofen as this can cause bleeding in the people. Drink plenty of fluid to prevent dehydration. Get plenty of rest. You really should start to feel better after about one week, although it may take longer. Say about a few weeks before you start to feel your normal self once again. If your symptoms don't improve please seek medical advice okay now i have put up um something to show the difference between dengue and malaria okay the differences are not much 
okay and um, also um to prevent dengue please please use repellent it's very important okay and if you're gonna be using mosquito nets make sure you treat your mosquito your mosquito net with um the repellent it's very important okay make sure you keep clean keep calm and wear mosquito repellent all the time it's very important this is one way you can avoid being bitten by mosquito okay now um post treatment and like i said there's no more treatment there's no treatment for dengue at all just try and prevent a uh, mosquito bite that that's one way you can avoid getting a dengue okay uh, if you are traveling abroad please seek um travel advice before you travel into endemic areas it's very important beware of the bite it's very important okay these bites are caused by mosquitoes okay now you have the symptoms um of malaria symptoms of dengue okay thank you for watching my program please share to friends subscribe and like my page thank you very much and do have a lovely evening